Buenas tardes, buenas noches, buenas mañanas, pásenla rico, pásenla lindo, yo la está pasando súper bien. Bilingual son today, bilingual son en Lili Sin Barreras. Como siempre yo quiero traerle lo mejor de mí y de nuestros hermanos, en este caso una mujer puertorriqueña que se ha criado aquí, allá, no sé, en todas partes. Le gusta la plena, le gusta la bomba, le gusta todo lo que hay, esto va a ser un revolú. Esto es un revolú, pero les voy a decir que cuando ustedes conozcan a Carla, prepárense que los muslos van a doler bien rico. Mm -hmm. Carla, I'm so happy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for allowing us to come into your amazing studio. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're a blessing here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I want to talk about the powerhouse, but before I talk about you, the powerhouse, mm -hmm. I want to tell everybody I was at your summit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That was spiritual. It was an intervention. It bothered my soul, so I had to go home and soul search. Yeah, you told me to shut up, and the five-year-old in me was like, pay attention to the teacher. It was cool. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Your instructors were amazing. Uh, but watching you give us the best of you, and me being the first time I attended, it was really powerful. And the weather was not our friend. So I'm going to start with what you told us about the weather, about the anxiety that the weather brought you. Tell us what happened, well, and then we'll walk into the rest of the stuff when you looked outside. I thought that was I was amazing. like, look at what God did. Look at God showing off. He just cut off that snow. <laughs> look what he did. He's just showing off. And, and that's kind of, I should have known better than to have anxiety mm. over it, but I did, and we're all human. For like a second, I'm like... The snow, nobody's gonna come. And it wasn't like I needed, I would have done the summit with one person there. But for me, it wasn't gonna miss the opportunity to engage spirit, mind, and body. It was amazing. Thank you. It was amazing. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for allowing us to be there. Who is Carla? Carla's normal. Oh no, I don't want to yeah. be normal. <laughs> and to be over. You know what? And meaning, The normalcy that we, right, we right. say, this one's perfect, this one's not perfect. I should say, I'm imperfectly perfected. That's, Amen. that's, who, that's who I am. Amen. Right? Um, but I've been many different things over my life, and now I'm just a vessel. That's what I consider myself. You are a retired police officer? Retired police sergeant. I was an officer, oh, a detective, oh, oh. Stop. then a sergeant. Sergeant. <laughs> You heard that. That's just a police officer, girl. Get it? Don't well, get it twisted. Well, I always like to say that I was a sergeant because it explains why, like, I can be militant in the classes, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 like, get everybody in the line because that was my job, like, you know, yeah. getting people in line. When did you get on the force? How old were you? Uh, I turned 21 right before the academy. Wow. Yes. 21. 21. But, you know, it was one of those things. I actually got a scholarship to UConn out of... Um, Buckley High School, which is I went go Bulldogs, Ooh. and um, you know I went to UConn thinking I'm just going to go to college, but I want to come back and serve the community. And I always wanted to be a cop, but my mother thought I would forget about it, you know. Okay. And you know, unfortunately, after my first year at stores, I didn't have enough money to stay, so I ended up coming back, getting a full time job, and going to school part time at the branch. And then, right around when I turned 20, they were hiring, and I'm like. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to serve the community. And right when I turned 21, we started that months later. And there it went. There it went. Can you tell me a story that still stays with you, that it was a beautiful day that you said, I was born to do this. I cannot imagine what you've seen in your journey. There is, there is many, many stories because, you know, I had near-death experiences that gave me oh epiphanies, you know, I was almost dragged to my death and, um, you know, so that brought me closer to my spiritual journey. But there was also times where we're walking the beat on Blue Hills Avenue and we see smoke coming from a house and we're like, wait a minute, what's going on over there? So we run inside the entire third floor of the house is already gone. There's people sleeping on the second floor and on the first floor. And we managed to get everyone out of the house. Everyone's completely safe. And as soon as we, it's like a movie, because mm -hmm. as soon as we get everybody out of the house, the house just implodes. And, you know, so those memories stick out because we save lives. Like, God entrusted us to do that. Like, 
we are in charge of saving lives. And I feel like that transferred with me into my fitness career. And that's where we're going next. Okay. So you are like a little jewel um, in our okay. community. Okay. A good one. You know, yeah, a good yeah. one. I just meant like, you know, the diamond. The, oh, you know, I don't know that I think much about onyx. it. A oh, black onyx. See, now I got to go and do research. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, I didn't hear about you. I did not know God like sister. And as I was telling you prior to, to coming on set, it was little by little that I got to know, oh, this woman, wow, look at what she's doing. Didn't know you were a retired sergeant. <laughs> um, didn't know any of that. Didn't know that you were Puerto Rican. Didn't know any of that. I just love the way that you on Facebook put these little clips, these challenges. Then I had to learn how to get into the Facebook group because I wanted to yeah, be part yeah, of the group. Yeah, right, right. You know? Um, and the way you coach people without being condescending or judgmental. Right. And I thought, I want to follow this woman. I want, I want to know what she's doing. And then you went through back surgery. I did. And you walked us through that journey with you yes. and made me cry. Don't appreciate that. I love my mascara. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, yeah. So you were very, very brave. So you've been around for me energy-wise. And finally I said, okay, that's it. Got I got to ask her for an interview. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but after going to the summit, sister, you blew it out of the water for me. You know, and it, it's almost like, especially you talking about the back surgery, I, I always love talking about that because, you know, when you're in it, you're saying, is you know, and I was questioning, is this it for me? You know, mm -hmm. I've already had a great career. I've been blessed, you know, to, to leave that career sound, spirit, mind, and body. I come to this place and now... I need back surgery, but I have been in after being a police officer and you're yes. thinking, so my in interpretation is you're thinking my life has been saved. It's been spared yes. versus, yes. versus others, right. not to minimize probably some memories that you have that, right. that continue with you. Um, but you think, wow, I built this career now. Now my back is saying, right. Maybe this is not going to be right. You know, and I had been in pain for months. I mean, I would cry myself to sleep sometimes of oh. so the pain. And then making the decision to actually get surgery was a whole thing in itself. But when you're disabled like that and you slow down, it's when your brain slows down and you have time to reconcile with your authenticity, your oh. inner self, and most of all, with God's purpose and living in alignment with what you know, his agenda, not yours, because we like to, you know, fight. do our own thing. Yeah, we mm -hmm. like to fight it all the way through. So that allowed me that time that I needed to kind of just turn things around in a, in a very positive light. And I'm still not 100%, but I am 80% better than I was before the surgery. And every day I, I pray, thank you, thank you, God, for me not being 100%, you know, like where I was before. And just today is another day and I'm going to stretch and I'm going to do as I'm told and I'm going to, you know. You did it at the airport. I did, I did. I was yes. traveling at the same time and your Facebook came up and I was like, seriously? Yes. I'm going to have to go get a salad and do these things yes. right here with the maletas, right. but I'm not going to look maleta, at school. Yeah, the maleta one. You know what? And I, I follow a lot of amazing. And of course I'm a liar. I didn't do it. <laughs> but I follow a lot of amazing other fitness um, mentors that they don't even know they're my mentors, but I go to these conventions and I follow them, but I follow them in the instance that they're mentors in the fitness field. But spiritually, it's about me growing and doing what's right for me personally. And that's the kind of journey I like to bring everybody else on to. There's so much, Carla. There's so much. We're going to do isn't so there, much. There, there's so much with you. There's so much. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. You brought in yeah. our faith. Yes. You brought in that we talked about this. Right. We're moved by a higher power. Absolutely. 100%. So you are a Puerto Rican woman. You are in the police force. You retire as a sergeant. Remember that. As a second, don't get it twisted now. As a sergeant, now you own your own business. Yes. You have the attention of many, many people trusting you yes. with their journey. And you bring in this piece that's called God. Yeah. How does that come by and how does that affect your business? Well, <clears throat> so... I had to come to the conclusion that the business was the business 
but it wasn't really the business unless God was on the, the, the foundation of it, you know, the anchor. And once I came to that, I said, okay, how am I, you know, when I say, do I say the creator? Do I tiptoe around it? Do I kind of just I've throw out there. the spirit? You know, like, I, I don't know. I don't want to freak people out, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, when I thought about it, I said, you know, I have more tolerance for all kinds of people. Um, obviously, we're human, but, and that's what I'm asking them to have of me, of be tolerable of my faith. And this is my business, and this is the way I'm going to choose to run it. And me and my husband, you know, like, we talk about it a lot, and we did lose a lot of followers. We did lose some business, and it really affected me. But then again, that was part of that like diamond in the rough. You got put through the fire and you say, hell, oh, you know, you're hanging here. Are you going to give up? You're going to give up. You're going to give up. And I was like, no, I'm not going to give up because this is what it's supposed to be. So then it just regained momentum with the spiritual aspect first. So changing the dynamic of fitness really, because fitness is really usually mind, body, spirit. So I feel like I'm the pioneer, like you know, Ponce de Leon, <laughs> the pioneer. Sister ain't afraid to say <laughs> she's the pioneer. She ain't afraid of that no, either. No. Oh so changing the dynamic of fitness, I was like, I'm going to confront this one head on. Let's, let's break this barrier, as you would say. Yeah. yeah. There is a lot to be said for those of us who get to a place that say, you know, I'm not walking here alone. Right. I'm not in charge all the time of this. There's something that moves me. And it has to be at the time where you can hear it. Right. Right? So you already have a business. You already have a career. And then God speaks to you and says, Listen, honey, I got plans for you, but you're going to feel Ese something. Libro. Ese libro es mío. <laughs> no te ponga. Ese libro es mío. <laughs> so you are a business owner, yeah. an author, mm -hmm. a wife. Mm. Right? Yeah. So mother. a mother. Oh Lord. Yeah. We gotta talk to your daughter. Right? Yeah. Is it your daughter? Mm -hmm. Oh we got two boys at home. And oh <laughs> I'm sure they love you. So you become an author. Where does that come from? So the need to um make the connection for people where they couldn't make it. I became totally transparent in the book. Um, identified my struggle, but then identified the promises that God makes to us and how to get through it. So there's action items in there. And it's just one of those things that once you lay out the pieces of the puzzle, people can actually say, wait a minute, this applies to me. Hold on. Let me read this chapter again. And, oh, I'm not alone. Okay. She figured it out. There's a promise. There's a promise. And instead of focusing on the struggle and just curling up in this ball, I mean, we're all entitled, but it's about that recovery time. Like, mm -hmm. how fast is how fast are you going to recover? How long are you going to be down for? Mm -hmm. So, I figured if we focus on the promise versus the struggle, then that'll get us up a lot quicker. That's very brave, because in that time that you're trying to figure out how you're going to go about it, yeah. your business starts moving in different directions. Yeah, it's almost like, where are you going? Where are you going? And, and let's. Yeah. Let's go to the aesthetics of it. You are a fine looking woman. Oh, thank you. Okay? So, and you're fine. And you, you don't look too shabby yourself. Oh, but girl, I do a little bit more work than you do on this. <laughs> I've seen you work out. It's like all clear or something like I hate it. Um, you're cool. You're fun. You like music. You're not my traditional girl that I look at and go, that girl's a Christian. So you're breaking barriers as you're doing that. You're almost too cool. Yes, and, and I've had that conversation with myself. You know, I said, can I like wine? <laughs> then I'm like looking at scripture. I'm like, why is all over this place? <laughs> says anything in overindulgence. Oh, so wine discipline. is good, thank God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anything in overindulgence, right? Anything. It, it doesn't have to be wine. Anything in overindulgence. Um, every, you know, God challenges us to be disciplined. So it's discipline what you're eating, discipline what you're drinking, discipline what your workouts, discipline in life. So that's why I follow the motto that if you have fitness, it's fitness and life with passion. So I consider the floor here a template for what you're going to do in your everyday life. And that's just the bottom line. If you can rough it out on the floor, struggle next to someone and tough it out, get through the workout and then go, oh, 
I'm done. You can do it out there. Girl, not one interview with you. I'm, I'm liking you more and more and more. <laughs> what are these monstrous things oh, these behind are, These this? monstrous things are, um, they're actually spin bikes. And we, since we are not a spinning studio, okay. we use them as um, a part of a circuit. So like you would jump on this bike for like three minutes, then jump off to weights, jump back on to um, resistance band training. Uh, jump back on, maybe do kickboxing, jump back on, do jump rope. So we use it in like a circuit, in a plethora of exercises that you can choose what you want to do. Ay Dios mío, señoras y señoras, quítate, pon y corre, y pasa y pon la cosa. Vámonos a una pausa. Tú no te vas, ¿verdad? Okay, te quedas no, con nosotros. No, la sargenta se queda con nosotros, señoras y señoras. Mira, huepa, y baila esta bomba y todo eso. Esto, esto es una creación indivina. Esto, esto, this is a good mess. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Let's get right into our hip warm up. If you and me know what right now, jump squat, go. I need to hear my music. Let's go. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Nice. One. Here we go. It's up. Saben que ya vieron un poquito de Carla, because we do it like here, like bilingual, you know, girl, yeah. you know how it is. Um, ya la vieron en movimiento. No le cojan miedo, because she's very patient with all of us. So you do exercises, upper body. That's how you started us. That's how you tricked us at the summit. I did. I it did. It was in the chair. It was in the chair. And then people were like, why, so, why am I so uh, At the Hello. <laughs> I blamed my menopause, but then it wasn't. I was like, it's no. Carla's fault. No, I did. Tell me a little bit of what inspires you day in and day out to continue, you know, you have amazing people working for you. One of the things that you did at the summit that for me, I don't know about you guys, it's more about the soul of the person. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are doing great things, but it's how you go about it. And at the beginning of the summit, you had, your heart was filled with love for someone who was going through a journey of mm -hmm. cancer. Yes. And the beginning of the summit was about engaging this person and saying you're not absent here yes we yes. love you and you're present and that was amazing you got him on the phone mm -hmm. and he was like oh no don't worry i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming he came back yesterday <laughs> did he oh yes. and i found that very interesting that you were in touching mm -hmm. that you took the time and said yeah we're running a summit right all of you guys you yes. know paid for your ticket Wonderful. to be here yes. mm -hmm. but you got to know who we really are right. And you right. had someone who works for you, a colleague, uh, another trainer, is that right? And she was driving this person back and forth to Kenya? Oh, yes, and one of our ambassadors, yes. So we had four ambassadors okay. as well as our staff. You hear and this language? It's not trainers, it's ambassadors. Okay. <laughs> well, no, um, ambassadors really are in charge of, they're just members, mm -hmm. and uh, well, not just members because they're members. But uh, they are in charge, like if someone comes in brand new, they kind of introduce themselves, they say, here are the weights, here's the bathroom, like, hey, you need anything? And they talk about like what the vibe is in the studio, kind of get them acclimated. Uh, as far as the instructors, instructors, actually I have seven or eight actually, and then the rest are front desk staff. Oh my goodness, but ambassador. To, to go back to your question, um, to go back to, or not your question, but your statement about the soul, so <clears throat> I felt like it was 
almost a requirement for them to have a good heart mm. versus know how to run the computer or know how to teach. Not in a bad way, but you can train a monkey, you know, to jump up and down. Are you or calling you me a monkey? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm you know, not that I don't, sensitive. I don't even know why monkey came to my head because all I can think of is the monkey with the little red butt, you know. I think it's an orangutan. I mean, it's like... Anyways, but you, you got to check her out, guys. This is a mess. This is a good mess. So, um, you know, but you can't train the heart. No. And that's, that's something that when I identify someone that has passion for fitness or passion for people, passion for service, I capitalize on that. I grab a hold of them and I say, let me see what you're good at and let's put you in place. So that particular phone call. Yes drove me to a place that said, as a survivor, by the way, Ooh. drove me to a place that said, I want to stick around. I, I want to see what this is all about. Okay. But the beginning of your summit, mm -hmm. that was with love, mm -hmm. respect for people's journey, right. and an invitation for every to part. Everybody was mm -hmm. there. I think all of us probably felt like, <sighs> This is the kind of people we're hanging out with right. today. You know, and, and it's either you're going to run, you're going to run clear out of there. We ain't going to run with that weather girl. Well, we have to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the hairs on your body were standing up reacting. Mm -hmm. And either you were going to say, this is too much for me, which is fine because that's where you are. That's a great point. Right. Or you're going to say... I'm all over this. Like, this is what I want to be a part of. I want to, I want to rock in this realm. Yes. I was beautifully confused. Does that make sense? Perfect. Sense. And still in. Yes. I was, I was probably the monkey. I was just following With whatever. Oh my right. gosh. I wasn't yes. wearing red no, that no, day, no, but no. I'll, I'll wear red <laughs> next year. Okay. Um, but I just followed because the passion and the love, but the expectation. You weren't, you weren't letting us get away with anything. No. You broke us up in certain, and then you stand up front there, make sure we were doing what yes. we were doing, yes. but to the best of our ability. I remember best. you saying, do your best. Do your best. Modify. So like, you weren't criticizing no. any of us. No. You were like, you do yes. what you yes. can do to the best of your ability. There is nothing more touching or invigorating than watching someone believe in their heart of hearts that they cannot do something. And then you break it down to them. Start here. Now put your arms up. Yeah. Now move side to side. And when they look, they got the whole thing going on. That to me is, is God saying that I, I want them, I want God to understand that I take his the job, this job seriously. I want them to be able to see the love. Everything you described, <sighs> it, it like, it invigorates me because that is what I want people to see and feel. I did it all. Yes. I saw it. I felt it. I feared it you at times. It. You were it. I, would, I feared because it Because you were a part of it. I'm sure you motivated someone that day. I'm sure you said something encouraging. You were part of the vibe. Then there's the other piece that you did. We were coaching one another. So we had That's a partner. My oh, my favorite part. And, and there is so much love in that. You were like, and you stopped. Do you remember this? You I stopped did. and you said, you are motivating someone. Yes. You're not criticizing. You're not what you're motivating. You're someone. Or you're not standing there catching your breath. That was what you, you said. You leave to that me. for later. Like you catch your breath at home. Right. But right now you have a job to do. So non, no <laughs> nonsense with this woman, but lots of fun. I want to make a confession. Okay. This is my first show that I talk about my faith openly. I've always said God. I've always said Dios me lo bendiga, Dios me lo acompañe. But you opened that door for me. I'm wow. going to try to say this without tears, okay? You, that day, when you opened up and you said, this is how I have walked, and it was just a tiny bit, right. and said, I did lose some people, but look around. Right. Right. That was the day I said, all right, you need to stop being a coward, Lily. Right. So thank you. And I don't even think, I mean, coward is a very strong word. You know, I, I, was, I was running. Trust me. I know who I am. I was like, I had sneakers after yes. sneakers for my relay, you know, yeah. type of thing. So, I'd... Um, I considered it more that 
I didn't know if that was my job. Like, I, I was confused. Like you said, wonderfully, beautifully confused <laughs> about my faith, meaning, do I put it in my business? Like, can I just keep this at home? Maybe yes. I'll just keep it at home. You know, keep it in the car, listen to my, you know, my, my Christian music. Um, Pastor you know, TDJ. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so I was confused about how to, mm -hmm. right? And then once it got in there, now do you let it like really get in there? Mm -hmm. Or do you just sprinkle, you know? And I sprinkle. You sprinkle, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was sprinkling for a while. And then I said to myself, I respect other people's opinions, their views, their politics, and I'm very respectful, even if I don't agree with them. So now I'm expecting the same in return. This is who I am, it's part of me, and I walk in the armor of God, so why am I not gonna express that? If you believe in anything, you, you gotta follow her on Facebook. I mean this with an open heart. It's not only the fitness, but it's the fitness of the soul and the heart and, and getting relieved. And, and uh, so your husband, I never met before mm -hmm. uh, at the summit. He was very, very involved. Mm -hmm. Made sure we had water, cause yes. you know, um, that was part of it. You need some water, girl. Let yeah. Help you. He's like, it's coming, it's coming, <laughs> you know. And we're all there like little rats. Um, but you guys were, in prayer yes there's this beautiful picture of you and your husband mm -hmm. you had left the place it could I could tell we're that gone. you were gone yeah so this was very real yes. what happens that your husband and you decide we do it every time you we do. have an event mm -hmm. and you know I I look at him and I say all right let's pray for me and he breathes life into me so then I can breathe life into the other people if you're watching out there and you're looking for words to like put that ring there, call up because I think people can steal that. <laughs> Say that again. Yeah. People need to write that down. This is your next proposal. Oh, well, wow. girls and yes. boys, yes. this is how you get married. That's your proposal. My, babe, you did good. My husband yeah. did really good. He did really good. Yeah, yes, yeah he yes, did really yes, good. Yes. Um, so what happens to, you know, your mother as yes. well. Mm -hmm. You're a powerhouse. And I mean that respectfully. Women, right. women, you know, we're queens, right? I mean, I just started, like, um, really, I've called other people powerhouses and queens, like, continually. But you are. But when they say it to me, it was just like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, because to me, I'm just Carla, you know? To my husband, I'm Carla. To my daughter, I'm Carla, you know? <laughs> um, mommy, you know? And, but now I'm accepting of it because I know that it's a title that God has given me. So as a mother, mm -hmm. um, I'm a mother as well, and um, what do you want your daughter to take away from your journey? Because let me just tell you, your mama was at the summit, right? Yeah, she was. Yeah. And she was like, ah, mama! Yeah. You know, she was, I was like, definitely mom. Because no other person can clap right. that way no, no, or get they, that. They got the, the seal clap. Yeah. <laughs> she was in love. It was amazing yes. to yeah. see. What do you want your daughter to say? Well, she say? was there. Yeah. yeah. And um, really, there was a point in time, like I said, you know, you breathe life into all these people, but that doesn't mean that at home it's oh, going to so true. actually be received. So there was a point in time that, you know, she was going through a tough period. You know, she's 16 years old now, so she was going through a tough period. And at one point, I remember getting on my knees saying, if I could yank this passion out of me and give it to her and live this life in a dark place, I would do it right now. Take it from me. Mm. If, if that is what is meant to be. But if she is meant to carry this seed, which I know she is, she will be mighty in the king's palace. Amen. And I'm waiting for that. So... You know, I want her to understand that she can do what she wants to do, but God first. God first, because everything will flow from that. And in this generation, super hard. But I got to tell you a quick story about her, though. So, you know, Chick-fil-A just came in in Newington, right? Uh, right. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they're a Christian-based organization. Mm -hmm. So she applied to work there. And I'm in the other room. She's on a phone interview. And she's like, hey, well, why do you want to work for Chick-fil-A? And she's like, well, I love chicken. <laughs> and I was like, That wow. would be my answer. Right? Would, you know, and I'm thinking, that would be my answer, but I wouldn't probably say it. And the second thing was, well, and I Excuse me, Mom, my, I'm 16. Yeah, and I've also done my research on your company, and I know you're Christian-based, and I'm a Christian. 
So I literally just melted in the floor because I'm like, she hears me, she sees me. And that's all I can ask for her. I, that's all I can ask for. You know, my workshops I called, what, I see you, I hear you. Oh. It's happening. What? We're so connected. So it's connected. happening. It's happening. <laughs> so as a mother, I think most of us, and if you're at home and you're a mom or mom-to-be or you're a sister or you adopted a, a little person that's now a big person that sometimes goes back to a little person, you know Or you just about. mother the world because yeah, a lot yeah. of us just do mm, that. Mm, <laughs> no. Not me. I'll yeah. do that. Um, it's so important for us to leave that next generation with a better, whatever that is, yeah. with a better. And sometimes that means not giving them everything they want. It means hard work. It means they have to abide the rules and regulation and um, that they have to earn their keep. These are all old school, traditional things that we did. Mm -hmm. But in this generation, they seem to be lost. And that was one of the things you know, you want to, you want this, you want that, get a job. You're a horrible mother. I'm terrible. Yeah. You I should mean, be incarcerated. Yes. I, <laughs> what? And, and get a job. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is that, you know, I'm okay with that though. Like on the outside, you know, other people looking in, you know, they don't know what goes on in my home. Mm. They assume, you know, obviously, but what I want them to know is what I, I teach what I preach, I preach what I teach, mm -hmm. and I walk in it. And it does get difficult, but that's part of my journey. That's, that's when you, you, know, you rely on God and you just get closer to where he wants you to be. That uncomfortableness you were talking about, mm -hmm. you know? I'm you still there. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, you have to be comfortable being mm -hmm. uncomfortable. So that's, I want my daughter to understand that. Mm -hmm. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean your life is going to be all peaches and cream. Yeah. At some points, you are going to be put through the fire. And you have to, you know, just maintain your faith. I want everybody to know at home that this is not about religion. It's about no. finding something inside of you. No. And we've all had because, it. Because, you know what, I we've have all this had conversation, it, right? but I have this conversation all the time. Being spiritual is not religion. Well, I, I always <laughs> tell people, you know, when you're in the car and you, you think you're going to... Hit someone in the bumper, yes. you think you're going to have a car accident, and we all call. Yeah. Oh, Lord, please, please, yes. please, 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 don't do this, don't do this. And I'm not religious, but Lord, 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 Lord. Yes. So I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about that personal connection right. that you have right. and you live. Yes. And so I tell people all the time, who do you think you call when you're... <laughs> You don't call 911, no, your, no, your, no, your car's no. about you, to stop. You definitely have a Jesus moment. Yeah. And you Jesus take the wheel and, <laughs> and all this other stuff. You know, or even something as simple as walking by a homeless person Oof. with a box of pizza that you just came out of there with and something burns inside of you saying, turn back. He's hungry. And if you deny He's that, my son. If you deny that, you're going to have to deal with that. But that is that spirit, the Holy Spirit burning inside of you. And, you know, that exists in every single person roaming this earth, whether you choose to listen to it or not. So you break in every stereotype. So let's talk about breaking barriers. You are Puerto Rican woman. Mm. Do you identify as Puerto Rican woman? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm at your and mother's I did house. My, I did my Ancestry.com thing. Mm. Not that that's a commercial, but I'm just saying. Unless did, you want to sponsor her. Unless you want to sponsor Ancestry. Yeah. So the uh, Taino, come on. Yeah. Get it together. So, um, and I did it and, you know, and I was, uh, 40% from a da the Daino tribe, obviously. Oh my God. And the rest was like mixed with Spain and, you know, other places around the world. So, um, I do identify as a Puerto Rico. I'm very proud of it, but I am an American as well. <laughs> Listen, we will get into that some other no, time. Listen, no, don't you start that. <laughs> Listen, all of us travel, all of us mm -hmm. travel. A Puerto Rican woman became a police officer. You found the way when college didn't go the way you thought it was right. going to go. You found a different way and you mm -hmm. went to the police force. There you did some interesting work. I did. You did some really interesting I, I work. I loved my job. But just like everything else, that chapter... Yeah, you retired. And then you decide, okay, I got to do something next. Well, when I was, um, I had that near-death experience um, when I was at like 15, maybe like uh, three years on the job. And I was almost dragged from a car. Three was, years in the job? Yes. 
And I was, at that point, I was 80 pounds overweight. And that came from working midnights and not taking care of myself and just working and going through the motions, really. Mm -hmm. And just trying to, you know, make a name for myself. Maybe, like, you could trust me. I'm a good backup. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just trying to, you know, do that. And I gained 80 pounds. So I always question, like, would I have not you know would this have happened to me if i was a lighter if i if i if i could react faster if i had done something so that was my kick after i had surgery on my wrist um to so you are up. in the police force yes and you find yourself in a very critical situation yes you question was it my weight yes that was maybe a problem for me and i could have switched right or reacted quicker but what i neglected to say is during the incident um i had a moment where i said god i don't want to go out like this like if mm -hmm. i survive this i will dedicate my life to you and that was where the passion and the motivation came from like i have a job like i'm not wasting my life god has saved me let's you know let's go so then i so started. that was the beginning of the journey for you what was that? That was the beginning of the journey? Beginning period? of the journey right there because then I ended up losing weight. I ended up uh, teaching um, kickboxing. That was my love. That was how I lost most of the weight. Why and you were on the police force? Why I was on the police force, yes. Mm -hmm. And so I started teaching. I was teaching like two or three times a week while I was working. And then um, I got pregnant with my daughter and I gained the weight again. 80 pounds, exactly. Because I had a very tough pregnancy. So I lost it again continued to work out and the only reason honestly that I ended up opening this spot is because I felt like a butterfly in a jar like I wanted to change the schedule I wanted to do but God already had already ordained my steps like you need your own space because you're gonna you're gonna do something totally different were you scared what yes my, my husband's like you want to what and then I he goes I, th I think you can do it he said you think you got enough followers from the classes i was teaching everywhere uh -huh. and i said i think so i think we can rock this he's like 100 percent with me so we did and we started with an all cement floor like five sets of weights a couple bars and a boom box you and might not know what a boom <laughs> box is but lots of us i apologize <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm older than you so i know what it was i try to carry one that was bigger than me too yes so that's what that's in a humble beginnings, but they were um, there were seeds that were being planted from years and years ago, and they just they came to fruition for me. Wow! Is all of that in the book? Pretty much. So you guys have to buy this book. I'm gonna be hooked up with a free copy, so I get yes. it. Yes, I already gonna, signed it too. <laughs> I'm gonna be hooked up with a free copy. I think it's so important for you, brother and sister, who's out there. Uh, my camera guys who are in the back that don't get yeah. enough credit yeah. um, all the time. Um, yes, Armando y Angel, I mean, I could not do the work that I do if they didn't say, okay, crazy woman, we'll hang with you um, and charge you very little <laughs> for doing this show. <laughs> so I have, no, yeah, yeah. no, I, I took them to lunch. <laughs> um, I think I've also been very blessed in, in trying to find my mission. Advice. Mm -hmm. I am your sister. In the journey what advice are you giving I represent many women I think mm -hmm. in the struggle in the figuring out am I comfortable with my body I just told you I lost some opportunities yeah. because I'm plumpy um, you are not so, plumpy I, I mean, I've seen plumpy but no no girl I'm plumpy this okay. is like <laughs> it's, it's doing this <laughs> we don't got the faha today but you know <laughs> well, speak for yourself <laughs> uh -oh. I got a couple of those <laughs> Um, I was at Popeye's putting on my farm <laughs> before I came here. Um, what, is, what is your advice to women like me and others who are saying, listen, I'm, I'm on a journey. Um, I want to get closer to my creator, but I want to be able to provide for my dream. So I think that that's like, it has so many components to it, but I believe that if you take the time to um, align yourself with your integrity, your personal integrity, and be real with yourself. Like, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that. I can't keep up with the Kardashians. This is what I am. This is the scope of what I can do. 
you know, like I said, I train people that are post-surgery. Somebody has got a bad ankle injury and knee. Let's find a way. Instead of saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, it's let's find a way. And surrounding yourself with super strong people just like you. You're not friends with a weaker person and you're just going to bring you down. Mm -hmm. And just keeping that integrity in all your relationships, keeping that honesty factor with yourself, it's going to get you a lot farther because, you know, we all have purpose. Mm. Not many of us attain what God has for us. So all the blessings that we have, you know, like I forget, some either comedian or somebody said that they have like a bunch with your name on them, right? I, I might have been T.D. Jakes or Joel Osteen, somebody, yeah. one of the people I listen to. And um, they said, these are all the blessings with your name on it. And the light is off and the door is locked. It sounds like to you. It sounds yes. like Bishop D.D. Yes. Jakes. Right. So it's up to you. Are you going to open the door, go in, flick on the light and say, I'm claiming it, I'm claiming it, I'm claiming it. Or you're just going to continue to be comfortable instead of seeking to be uncomfortable in your comfortableness. <laughs> powerhouse, powerhouse. They're telling powerhouse, me, powerhouse. They're telling, no, I want to learn. I want to know. This is a listen, selfish but, interview. But, but listen, I'm, I'm seeping off you too. You this is I mean? a I, selfish no. interview. Yeah. This <laughs> is totally selfish. Let's check out what this woman can do in this break. Keep following up. We're going to take a short break, and you're going to watch what she's doing on video. Wait until I get a hold of her. <laughs> All right, you're going to start by rolling the shoulders. Make sure that you have your hands tight, tight, tight around those weights. Breathe it. Nice. All right, you're gonna take it up. Right towards you. Can I get a little more volume? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Taking it right. 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 Cross. Nice. Elbows. Right to the waist. Come on. Other side. Here we go. Come on. You got it. Come on. Here we go for four. Three. Two. All right, we're going to add on. That was here. Here and up. This is your combo right here. To the ceiling. Come on. You got it. We're going to hit it double time right here. Come on. Cross over. You got it. Feel it. Come on. Third four. Three. You got it. First two. Left side's gonna do the same combo. Here we go. Double time, then we slow it down. Ha, got you. Come on. Let's go. Slow it down. Here we go. Nice. Come on. You got it. Come on. You're gonna 
hold. Here we go. Almost there. For four, three, two, back to single. Here we go. Yeah. Right in. The combo is going to be here. Lifting that knee. Come on. Elbows tucked in so they're not out here. Elbows are tucked in right to the back. Squeeze the triceps. Come on. Four more. For four. Come on. For three. For two. Hold it up. Ooh, can you? Out. Come on. Let's go, let's go. You got it. Come on. Hold it. Lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And break. Here we go. Triceps. Ow. Come on. Lift. One to the left. Or whatever side you didn't do before. Come on. Keep it tight. There you go. Come on. Got it. Nice. Almost there. Come on. Four. Three. Two. You're going to hold it up. Two. Come on. Squeeze that knee right to the belly button. Ooh. And if you almost fall, make sure you keep your balance and you fight for it. Yes. Last one. Hold. Hold it. Four. Three. I'm going to hold for extra four, three, two, and break. single it out. I'm going to take it wide stance. Drop. Combo's going to add a lift. Yes. Drop just the legs. Breathe it. Come on. Almost there. First four. First three. First two. We're going to go right to left. Here we go. Left. Squeeze. Squeeze. You got it. Perfect. Knees out, toes out. Woo! It's very quiet in here. Not like a class at all. Come on. <laughs> I get a lot of smiles though. Give me both. Here we go. Squeeze that chest out. Squeeze with your heart. Let's go. Come on. Hold it. Squeeze the core. First four. Come on. Three. Two. And break. All the way in. Right foot steps in back. You're holding. All the way. 
Place it on that left leg, taking your knee to the floor. Here we go. You got it. Come on. Come on. Hold it at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. One and three. Here we go. One, three, two. Squeeze it. One, three, two, squeeze it. One, three, two, squeeze it. One, three, two, shake it out. Nice job. Other side, same thing, single. Take that knee to the floor. You got it. Then from the side. It's here. Knee close to the floor. Hold it down. Here we go. One and three. One, three, two. Squeeze at the top. One, three, two. Squeeze it. One, three, two. Squeeze it. Last one. Squeeze it out. Bicep curls only. Take it right to the end. Come on. Yeah. Four more. Come on. Make it a combo. And you're going to take it for a jump. Here we go. back with these bad boys on the floor. Ya vieron un poquito de lo que Carla puede hacer, un poquito. So los invito a todos que la sigan. Keep following her, check her out. You're good about answering questions. I like am. I've asked you questions oh, yeah. on on Facebook yes. and you're like, "Yeah, Lydia, this is yes. what you do." Yes. And that's that's really cool. On Facebook, on Instagram, you know, some people email me. I answer all my emails, so I love that communication. I love it. I think you do a great job because I asked you a couple of questions. So now I'm going to tell on you. And the cop in her was like, what are you going to say? You saw that? You were like, what are you going to say? Um, Cuando Puerto Rico mm. se vio totalmente impactado por el huracán María, we all got affected. All of us. Yeah. All got affected. But you have a very unique to go and lend your heart in your hands. And you came up with this amazing idea of asking for cards for Home Depot. Yes. I dropped off my cards. Yes. But I never in my head thought, that's such a good way to go. Mm -hmm. Nobody has to channel the money. Yeah. We know that it's going right. to get to the right people yes. and they're going to spend it in whatever they need for their home and building and whatsoever. So we were able to collect $3,000 in cards. And then um, I did a project where I donated my time and my support and training to a group of people and they committed to raising $1,000 each. So at the end of the week, basically they received their training, they received their coaching online and everything else. The end of the week, we raised $30,000. So we were able to, me and my husband, which we paid our own way, um, we were able to go to Puerto Rico and actually, um, with Puerto Rico Strong and Stronger Than Maria, we were able to go... Which are two different, two different movements? Two different organizations. Okay. Yes, but they work together. Okay, so tell me their names again to give them the oh, credit they deserve. Puerto Rico Strong and Stronger Than Maria. Okay. 
So we teamed up with them. Um, we got tarps um, for people's houses. We went in, bought beds, um, helped clean out um, some of the houses. We bought, it, we went during December, so we ended up running across oh. some kids who lost everything. So we got them bikes for Christmas and things like that. So we were able to see the money be put into the community. So that was something. And then, you know, um, I did a bunch of things for the Relief Center here, mm -hmm. you know, in the backdrop, because like I said, leave from behind, leave from behind. Then, you know, um, with Crack, uh, with Aura Alvarado. You know That's I mean? our She's girl. An angel. She's an we angel. We love her, Aura. When she ran that center. So I volunteered there, me and my husband and my family and people from the studio, we volunteered there to help organize the things. Um, we collected coats, um, we collected toiletries, you know, and the other hurricanes as well. So some of the other hurricanes, we, um, you know, collected water. I mean, we, we do even do things like one of the members got their kid got had a bike stolen at school. Ugh. So we did, he bought it with his summer money. And first cool day, kid, what is, <laughs> what's his name? Shout out to the kid, no, listen, he's no, done listen. all of this. So then we actually um, did a fundraiser here and we ended up buying him an even better bike with the money that we raised here. So we even do things like that. So um, we do meal trains for people who um, they're, that you know they have somebody passing their family and things like that. So it's really about community. I always say, if we, I move you individually, then we move everybody collectively Ooh. and then culturally. So culturally we move different because we're all there supporting each other. And remember, culturally doesn't mean we look up the same or we speak oh, the same language. No. Uh, the, so I always say the culture is the social norm, right? right. So we change the social norm. Oof. <laughs> Next book coming up. Yes. Next book coming up. Another thing that you did, and we had no idea we had people in common oh. that we were um, blessed to serve, was your church also. Yes had some meals for um, our brothers and sisters who came from Puerto Rico. So actually I went to my church and I said, listen, there's a need. And um, I'm not asking for a lot of things, but I'm saying there is a way to help. So there was a bunch of different things that the church actually did. They collected furniture um, and then I was um, What's the name of the church? Engineers. It's Weathersfield Evangelical Free Church. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. So um, I was able to arrange meals. So um, there was transportation for all the families that were living in the hotels, and they were brought over. Um, they shared a meal. Um, we prayed together, and you know they were able to interact with each other. And just we wanted to let them know someone cares. And even better than that, one of the families was actually chosen to live in the um, pastoral house, um, which they have there, and they lived there for months until they were able to get on their feet as well. So there was a lot of different connections. They also did a couple um, volunteer days at the Crux Center. So it was more than just a little bit. It was like really layers of things that um, we've all been involved in, you know. Um, uh, I helped the Hispanic Officers Association, you know, collect uh, book bags and things for, uh, you. you know, so it's just, you know, being a part of a movement to just let people know, so I see you, I hear you. Yes. I love it. I love it. You got to go to my training so I can say, see, she gets it. She gets it. I get it. I get it. She gets it. I introduce all my guests to this very uncomfortable um, questions. Okay. So you've answered one. Okay. Do you believe there's a God? Right. So you've answered that one. If you had the magic wand, I give you one wish, though. Wish. Okay. That's all you get, Carla. Yes. That's it. Okay? okay? No more. No. One. Yes. What would you change in the world? So the one wish I would, I would ask God to do is to be able to put his hand over everybody's heart and heal them. Because if you heal the heart of all the, you know, the tribulations and all the self-limiting beliefs and everything that holds them back from their purpose, then everything good will flow from that. <laughs> I'm glad I gave her one. Lord knows what she would have done with more than one. <laughs> Lord, be careful with the one. Heal. Like, oh man, heal. Because if you heal them, then they will listen to each other. They will see each other. They will hear each other. They will help each other. We'll support each other with no... Um, with, with no fear and, and just mm. be able to just be next to someone else, you know, be. To me, it is a pleasure to meet women who are moving mm. 
-hmm. Not running. Yes, moving. 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 Constantly moving. And flowing. See, yeah. well, I tell you, she, 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 she's a good mess. <laughs> she's not a bad mess. She's a good mess. <laughs> um, it's very, very inspiring. I'm so sorry I didn't meet you before, but God has a plan. Mm. Um, I believe that you are anointed, but I'm, that's not a discovery for you. I believe that people are blessed when they meet you. I know I was a part of, you know, didn't right. want to go to the bathroom after right. those squats and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm not lying to you guys. <laughs> I was like, yo no me voy a parar, yo no me voy a I'm going to be like this. Yeah. It was tons of fun. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give these young women who are coming up who are, you know, we're either going to make it better for them or we're going to make it worse? Correct. Because mm -hmm. it's our generation who has to make sure that the soil is prepared for their garden. What do you say to them? You know, I, I just um, would say that if you keep your eyes on the good people, the people that are serving, uh, the heart of service, you know, they're, 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 they're showing you, they're giving you the example, not just leading by example, because the examples that they like to say, you know, the, the, the person that got famous on YouTube or, um, you know, the, the, the rapper, or and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, because I think they're all mm -hmm. amazing people. Everybody has people. their gift. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of those things are not attainable for people. But what is attainable every single day is to serve. And if you dedicate your life to service, you will be blessed trifold. I mean, that's just what it is. <laughs> She's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that bank, that bank got a lot in it. If you concentrate on um, putting a positive deposit into your life's bank, you will never be negative. Oof. You know, it's, it's. I think about that lip book. <laughs> Pressure, pressure, but pressure. if you keep depositing negative, you will always be negative. Yeah, I don't like that red little thing. I don't like those little yes, thin yes, envelopes. Yes, yeah, yes. don't pretend like you don't know what a little thin envelope is. You open it or up the like scissors, this. Or the scissors. Oh. Back in the day, your bill was going to be cut off. Like when I lived in the projects, I saw a lot of those. We used to deliver the mail to yeah. all the people in the neighborhood, and they had the little guy with the scissors like this. Like, you're going to get cut. Your light's going to get cut. <laughs> so, oh, no, cut out those scissors. We don't I like those scissors. I stopped doing that because it was like mean. Everybody in the neighborhood knew. Wow. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I had welfare cheese. The best cheese still ever. <laughs> I've never had the best it cheese. It really does not melt ever, ever. See? Like, Only people <laughs> that have had it know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Carla, we hope that we can interview you mm -hmm. another time, that we can have some fun. Yes. I know you have huge projects coming up. I have a little insight I'll share with you guys. She's going to be at a conference, <laughs> a women's conference. So it's free, right? The, yes, the women's conference is free. Is free. Yes, do but you do, I, think, I believe you do have to register. You yes. do have to. I registered already. I invite yes. you because there's going to be powerful women there. Yes. I don't know what you guys are going to talk about. I don't care. I'm going to go and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to suck it up yeah. and, and take well, as much as I my story, which I don't necessarily, I love doing this because I'm able to be myself and it's not like I'm talking at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm telling you my story. I, I know it's inspiring to people, but I get tired of hearing myself say it, but I know it's about the testimony. It's not. You get you yourself know. tired of hearing? Yeah. I'm like, are you saying this again? Yeah. And that's that's your job, boo. I know. Yeah, that's your job. Know. That's your job. <laughs> well, it's it's our belief here in Lily Simbarras that we don't let anybody go without showing you some love. Okay. So I want you to feel it, sense it. I love feeling keep, it. Keep, you know, we will keep your family in prayer. Hope you will keep mine in prayer. 100%. I thank you for everything you do for the community, and I will figure out other good stuff that you're doing so I can bring it to you all. Yes. Remember, loneliness, call somebody. If you're depressed, call somebody. Exercise is a great way. I used to fight it as someone who suffers of clinical depression. Mm -hmm. I was like, you want me to get up and do exercise, really? Mm -hmm. Smack, smack, smack. Mm -hmm. But it does work little by little, whatever you can do, the nutrition, all of those kinds of things help. Do not get off of your medications. I still take medication, so you do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But coming to a place where you feel the love and yes. you sense um, and I came in here, and I have to tell you guys here at Sudor Taino, and I felt it immediately. Mm -hmm. yes. So go to a place where you feel it. Find your church where you find it. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Find your Absolutely. church where you find it. Mm -hmm. And vamos a ver de Carla Medina, pero check her out. Yes. Una chica on Puerto Instagram, Rican. Facebook, free YouTube workouts, free challenges on Facebook. There's no excuses. You can do it. I promise you, one step at a time. That's the way we get everybody to their full capacity and full potential. 
See, you God take all of that all. up, she does. God bless you all. <laughs> Vieron. <laughs> Hasta la próxima. Nos vemos. Nos fuimos con Carla. I have to do a closing. ¿Qué te puedo decir? Mira, you should do my closings. You want to do my closings and openings from now? Oh, maybe. ¿Tú te imaginas? Yeah, Carla Medina. Huepa. Dale, el huepa. No huepa. se le quita el huepa. Ya llega diciendo un huepa. Señoras y señores, no se vaya nadie, quédense juntito con su comunidad, sigan el programa en YouTube, lo vamos a llevar a donde podamos llevarlo, si estás en Puerto Rico tenemos gente de Ghana que nos siguen, uh, tenemos gente, tenemos los viernes de bendiciones y este es un viernes. A Viernes de Bendiciones que hacemos en Facebook Live Gracias a Ashlyn que está escondida Atrás de cámara que es mi mano derecha Al mando mi hermanito De por siempre Ángel um, Y nada más Que me dijiste yo sé lo que estoy Hablando pero me estoy peleando Con mi chico Y el conjunto perfecto Los Hot Shots so, Si estás buscando una producción así bien calientita Bien chévere uh -huh. Ellos lo hacen uh -huh. todo, ponte mono, trabaja uh -huh. Lo que tú quieras, son los Hot Shots Dios te bendiga, Dios te acompaña May God always be And see, and now we gotta just talk Why? What do we talk about? Where you get those leggings? Oh, I have to eat, they sponsor me I love it. That's the bag I got All right, dry yourself off because I know you're sweating just like I was. All right, I'm gonna sit here and you're just gonna take it out. This allows you not to use anything else in your body but your arms and your chest. You're elevating your heart rate. Inhale, exhale, come on. Abs are tight, squeeze the glutes. Four more. You got it. Four. Three. Two. Gonna hold them right to the center and breathe right here. Elevate. Bring it all the way parallel to the body. Nice. Keep them together. Squeeze the core, squeeze the arms, make it work. Four. Come on. Three. You got it. Two. One. And you're going to bring them all the way around. Elevate the body. Hold. You got it. Squeeze the body back. Holding it. Squeeze the core. You got it for four. Four. Three. Two. You're going to take the body out. And if you can, you're going to hold the butt off the air. There you go. Hold it off the air. Squeeze. So you can squeeze out here or up here. You're going to hold it just a couple uh, centimeters off the floor. Four, three, two, and good. Bring it back. Nice.
four, three, two, and hold. We'll take it and elevate. Switch. Nice. Four, three, two, hold and center. Yes. Nice. Four, three, two, and bring. Bring them in. You're going to take them back out to the side. And out. You got it. Come on. Finish it. Yep. Come on! Yes! Back to the back of the head, let's go! Take it right to the end. Open those arms up. Four, three, two, and break.